Hello everyone, it's Raven here, and today we're going to make a quick little video about a new unit for the Dwarves. So all you Dawi lovers out there are going to be getting Giant Slayers now for Total War Warhammer 2. And this unit's going to be coming out in late May with the patch to re-release Norska for Warhammer 2. And uh, I think this is going to be a great addition to the roster. So not only are you now going to have unbreakable armor-piercing infantry, but now you have another type of Slayer to field to the army. So we're going to have Ungrim Iron Fist, you have regular Slayers, and now we have the beautiful Giant Slayers with their giant great axes. So this is going to be great. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video. And we'll take a pause afterwards and go over their stats after we go through the whole video as we watch them chop up this poor giant. And uh, then we'll compare them to their counterpart, the regular Slayers that we've had since the first Total War game, and see what the differences are in their stats. So right here, you see the giant getting in. A little bit of its frustrated uh, blows in before its knees are just hacked to pieces by these giant axes. There it is, asleep and sadness. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back real quick and take a look at the stat. So, they are still shielded for some reason. So, uh, the regular Slayers were told to be able to deftly uh, move their axes around and spin them to deflect arrows or bolts or gunshots coming their way, which provided that 35% uh, missile deflection from the front. However, these guys have their great axes, and they're still counted as shielded right here. No armor, so, you know, uh, missile presence will be a very important role for getting rid of these guys, preventing them from getting on any juicy targets like uh, cavalry or any armored infantry because they, they won't back down, you know, unbreakable. <laughs> so they're not going to run away until every single one of them is dead. And it's a pretty big unit. I'm not sure if they're on uh, ultra or just regular size, so uh, large size, excuse me. Uh, so right here, weapon strength, 43. So I believe the regular Slayers have 46 uh, AP and a bonus versus large. So I'm assuming that the AP is going to be quite large compared to their regular counterpart. Uh, their melee attack is 50. That's qu that's pretty good. That's, uh, that's a lot better than their the regular Slayer. And then their melee defense of 30. So a little bit lower. Not too much lower than uh, any standard Slayer. But uh, that's pretty much it. A little bit of a higher charge bonus as well. They still got that... Uh, Dwarven Magic Resistance, so good for them. And they had the Death Blow uh, trait. So let's go ahead and take a look at your uh, regular Slayers here. So I have their things, their stats pulled up right here. So they have a weapon strength of 48, excuse me. And they have 32 regular damage, 16 armor piercing, and a bonus versus large of 24. And the Death Blow trait that I was talking about before right here. So hit points greater than 20% means this is not going to be active. However, once they drop past that threshold, they'll get 15% extra armor piercing damage and 15% extra weapon damage. So quite a big boost in damage right there. Still unbreakable. And then they have the whirling axes right here for that little shielded trait. So I'm not sure if that's just a bug. They haven't uh, sorted that out yet or if that's intentional. I'm not quite sure why that's there for the, the giant slayers with their great axes because they didn't have that uh that trait i don't believe but uh yeah so i'm hoping to see a lot more armor piercing damage so instead of uh being scared to engage these guys in the front line perhaps you'll start seeing all slayer armies uh so some shenanigans probably coming into play in the online battle scene uh we'll find out we'll probably see something like that from turin or uh, ninja hunt or viking cat any of the greats out there trying to do some fun stuff but you know this is gonna be a pretty cool unit and uh it makes me excited Maybe we're going to start seeing some new units from some old factions, try and reinvigorate the old races, and uh, try and get them up to snuff and up to par with all the new races up in the current tier and the meta for what the game's turning into. So that'll be some pretty cool stuff. So stay tuned, guys. Hopefully I can get some more information. Uh, I just like to do updates of stuff I see on Facebook in case anybody's not following them and just put it on YouTube and just put my thoughts out there for people to hear. So... Very interesting unit. And as always, guys, uh, stay tuned for more content. I'm definitely going to be uh, starting back up with videos. I know I've been absent for a very long time on YouTube, but I'm going to be starting up again. Uh, videos either for Total War Warhammer online, doing streams with that, or playing Rainbow Six Siege, if anybody likes that game. I do play that with friends now, and then I might post some videos for that. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. So go ahead, stay tuned. Uh, like if you like the video, and then subscribe if you'd like to see more. And as always... Uh, you know, catch y'all later.